Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. After that, Alexis focused on Christina Corinthos Davis and emphasized the value of the family together for the funeral and burial. Molly Lansing Davis and TJ Ashford didn't need to know that Christina had intended to keep her daughter if she had survived, according to Alexis. Molly and TJ discussed the necessity of naming their newborn girl back at their house as Alexis concealed Christina's custody documents in her briefcase. Later, TJ revealed the baby's name was Irene to Stella Henry Curtis Ashford, Marshall Ashford, and Jordan Ashford. Stella became very distraught at the reference to her late sister. In the meantime, Molly went to Alexis' place and told Christina the baby's name. Irene Murray, according to Molly, was the name, but Christina became irate since she wasn't included in the choice and angrily declared that it wasn't the name she would have picked. Ava Jerome of the PCPD quietly glanced to John Jagger Cates for approval as she provided Anna Devine with an updated statement that contained new information regarding Christina's repeated threats to kill her. Finally, based on the new statement, John went up at Alex's apartment and attempted to force Christina to accompany him so he could ask additional questions. Alexis refused to back down and demanded that Molly take the court order out of her briefcase. Even though John eventually departed, Molly felt deceived upon discovering the documents Christina had drafted to assume sole custody of the child. On Wednesday's GH episode, Ava discovered Justin Jacks and Trina Robinson arguing over her at the gallery. Justin hypothesized that if Ava had been in that hotel room with her instead of Christina, she would have been the one to fly out the window. Trina brought up the observation that Ava had told her one narrative while in detention, and was now telling the police another after Jocelyn left. Ava acknowledged she was in peril and needed to follow the FBI's instructions in order to survive after Trina pressed for the truth. Off-screen, Ava divulged additional information, which Trina found endearing, and demonstrated the strength of their relationship. Trina contended that time was running out, even though Ava couldn't reveal the facts to save Christina just yet. He informed Jason Morgan at Sonny Corinthos' office that they could use Anna Devine as bait to draw Valentin Cassidyne out of hiding. When Anna finally showed up and told him about Ava's revised testimony, Sonny became enraged and accused John of being responsible. Though Anna admitted she lacked evidence, she thought that John had really put Ava under duress. Before Anna brought up Scott Baldwin's disappearance, Sonny and Anna engaged in a blame game about previous transgressions. Anna had some questions because John had said that Jason was the last person to see Scott. Jason eventually clammed up and refused to talk without his lawyer, even though he was made to go down to the police with Anna. Anna expressed her displeasure with Jason notifying Sonny about Valentin's medication manipulation and offered he may continue working for Sonny in a different capacity. Ever since his return, Jason had been living in two different worlds, but Anna insisted he make a decision. Jason picked up Anna's tumultuous background once she proposed that he live a happy life with his kids, free from all of Sonny's problems. Anna merely hoped Jason wasn't standing next to him when it happened since she still intended to take down Sonny. Ava questioned Sonny about his intention to kill her as he proceeded to the gallery. Sonny had a spooky smile and declared he was there to save Ava's life, even though he implied she should have met a terrible end. Stay tuned for more general hospital spoilers and updates on John's demise. If Ava knows what's best for her, she should accept Sonny's offer, according to the show's spoilers. Spoilers for General Hospital indicate Sasha Gimore Corbin is well-meaning. From their little conversation last week, she could see that there is a problem between Drew Quartermain and Michael Corintho's wife. Willow seemed uncomfortable when Sasha asked her to pick up the phone and call Drew, so Sasha wanted to think that the kiss she saw them share on the fourth was all that and nothing more. However, Willow's sudden announcement that she is leaving the New Tomorrow Institute was the cherry on top. Willow quickly asserted that she shouldn't worry him, 
implying that their relationship doesn't permit such behavior. Sasha would believe that Willow's unease with Drew stems from more than just a single kiss, given her greater knowledge of the two. But in the long run, the way she decides to handle things could lead to an even bigger catastrophe. Sasha will believe that she knows more about the narrative in addition to the fact that she knows Willow and Drew shared a kiss. Why else might Willow's presence around Drew be so unsettling? Why would she decline this wonderful chance to work with the Institute and spend more time at home with her children? After all, that's what she desired. Sasha is aware of Nina Reeves' tryst with Drew though. In the hopes that Nina might assist her daughter, she might take a risk and loop Nina in, even though she might presume Nina is unaware of what transpired or seems to be happening between Willow and Drew. Will Nina seem surprised as if she didn't know when Sasha tells her what she saw? That is unlikely. It's more likely that Nina will want to make sure Sasha stays silent. Although Nina wants Drew all to herself and doesn't want Willow's family to split up, she also doesn't want Willow to be available to Drew. Though Sasha could eventually realize that, what is a girl to do with all this information about the Q family that she never wanted? Nina is probably going to beg Sasha to step aside and let her handle things, telling her that she will. Even though Maxie Jones has already suggested that there is jealousy at work, Nina may currently really think that she has good intentions. Sasha may take matters into her own hands if she begins to believe that Nina is merely asking her to step aside so she can continue using her angle on Drew for personal gain. However, Sasha may choose to heed Nina's advice and remain out of it for a little while longer. While her mother tries to entice Drew farther into her own lair, Willow's feelings for him will probably just intensify in the interim. Who will end up winning this guy's heart? The mother or the daughter? To find out, check back for more gear X spoilers and news. And the episode of today pretty much proved that he soon will be, perhaps in the most gory way imaginable. However, this wasn't a surprise to us. Even with the FBI, Agent Cates has been acting more and more erratically. Additionally, his attempts to apprehend Christina infuriated not only Sonny, Alexis, and the rest of the family, but also the judge and prosecutor who had to put up with his lame justification for trying to lock her up. He attempted to drag Christina inside today, threatening to abduct Molly, Alexis, and her if she didn't comply. Furthermore, the statement, your family can bury their dead without you all, was blatantly harsh. If Alexis starts heading for her car, we would flee if we were him. While Kate stood over Iva, she was coerced into making a statement against Christina, but she did concede to Trina that he was pressuring her. Sonny, too. He is, indeed, incensed. He confronted Ava at the end of the show, and if she treats John unfairly, as we believe, his time on Earth is almost done. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.